Stephen Haskell was born in the year 1833 in Oakham, Massachusetts, and would go on to have a huge impact on the world church. He was converted at the age of 15, and a few years later, he would marry his first wife, Mary. At the age of 19, he heard the message of Jesus soon return and started to tell everyone about this. One day, while he was talking to a friend, he was encouraged that he should start preaching himself. At the time, he was a professional soap maker, but he started to preach and was known as being able to comprise sound, logical, and powerful sermons. In 1853, he attended a camp meeting in Winstead, Connecticut, after which he decided to travel through Canada. On his way, he stopped in Springfield, Massachusetts, where he met William Saxby, a tinsmith who introduced him to the Sabbath. Despite being initially opposed to it, he listened to him, and after studying it out, he realized that it was biblical and committed to keeping it. A visit later on with Joseph Bates would further solidify this decision that he had made. By now he was living here in South Lancaster and was active in ministering to the believers in the area, keeping accurate records of the Sabbath schools, churches and members. In 1868, he handed a copy of this report to James White. He showed J. H. Wagner and J. N. Andrews, and so impressed were they by his abilities that they ordained him as a minister, formed a New England conference, and appointed him as the first president. He was 37 years old at the time. Another initiative that he started during his time here in South Lancaster was the Vigilant Missionary Society. They started by writing letters of encouragement, lending books and papers, and praying for people. Over time, this small society would grow and flourish until it became the ABC, or Adventist Book Center, as we know it today. S.N. Haskell was a decisive and organized leader and served as the president here in New England whilst also being president in California and president of the main conference for a time as well. While he was president here in New England, he saw the forming of the South Lancaster Academy, which would go on to become the Atlantic Union College. Standing behind me is Founders Hall, built in 1884, the oldest original Adventist school building. Stephen Haskell would be instrumental in the start of the work in Australia and New Zealand, spending 13 months there. Whilst he was away traveling, his wife Mary would stay at home. She was a committed Christian and bore her physical pain with patience. Later on, she and Stephen would move here to California where she is buried. Writing in Ellen White, Stephen said, I loved her and she loved me, in capital letters, as if to emphasize the point. the Lord would provide another wife for Stephen, Hetty Hurd. She was a pioneering type of woman whom he had met several times and was an active missionary having spent time in England, Africa, and California. They would get married in Australia in 1897 and would go on to start a training school in New York City before later moving to California where they were instrumental in the start of the health work here. Later on, they would move to Nashville, Tennessee, and it was whilst there that they heard the sad news that Ellen White had passed away. S.N. Haskell had previously been asked to share the message at her funeral and delivered a message of hope and triumph. As he reached his final years, he once commented to his wife that he was frustrated that he couldn't do more in life. She told him that whereas he used to travel and preach, now his printed sermons went to places that he never could. He lies buried here in California next to his first wife, Mary, because he told the brethren that when he died, to bury him next to whichever wife was closest. Years earlier at his ordination, James White had told him, always look to God rather than man for direction in your work. May we do the same 
to look to God rather than our fellow man for our directions in God's work.